Now to our go one better, number one Cochran call of the night. We're going to go out to Bill in Tarentum. How you doing, Bill? Hey, Bill. Hello. Hey. How are you? Great. How are you? Oh, good. How are you? <laughs> Bill, you got a question? Yes, I'm sorry. Um, I, I just wanted to say basically the Penguins tonight, they look great, right? Um, it's obviously game one. Um, but I also wanted to get your thoughts, and Tony, are, are you there? Yeah, we're here. No, I just left. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tony. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You seem like an honest and, and, and a, a good media guy, so I had to get your thoughts on the Gruden thing real quick and the NFL and the hypocrisy, right? Because they're obviously, and John Gruden, I'm not condoning his language and everything that he did, but basically, what are your thoughts? Because they hired Eminem. I missed that last part. What yeah. happened there, Richie? I didn't hear it. I think they hung up on him. So it really wasn't our go one better call of the night. Let's go out to Bobby. Maybe he's a better call. Do we even have Bobby? We just hung up on Bobby. We had Bobby. He just Maybe there were two prank calls that we had. So, Pony, you're just going to be our number one Cochran go one better call of the night. Um, Pony, he, he, I'll, I'll, be the, I'll pretend that I'm the phone call. So my question to you, Pony, is Anthony Miller, will he do anything with this, in the Steelers' offense? No. I was told by somebody in Chicago that the guy has terrible attention to detail, was brutal at that in Chicago. That's why he went from a second-round pick to out of there in the span of like three years. I believe, you'd have to double-check this, I believe he was thrown out of their playoff game last year for punching somebody in the face. You might have to double-check that. I might have a detail or two off on that, but got thrown out of the Saints playoff game and I think the Bears got fed up and traded them to football Siberia, the Houston Texans, huh. this offseason. And, you know, it's, all, it's what, week five, and they had already moved on from them. So, no, I don't really have high hopes for Anthony Miller here with the Steelers, Richie. Yeah, you, I would have thought there were some other wide receivers out there that they could have taken a chance on, and they didn't, and they brought in this guy. Well, they use three wide receivers a lot, more than any team in the NFL. So we'll see where they go with that. I'm not a big Ray Ray McLeod guy as a receiver, Richie. I like him more as a special teams player. What I'd like to see them do is use two tight ends more. I want Pat Fryermuth involved in that Steelers offense. They need to throw the ball to Fryermuth more because when they do, he hangs on to it and can actually make plays, unlike some other tight ends on the roster who will remain nameless. Uh, I'd like to see... Fryer Muth get the ball more, too. I agree with you, especially By the way, in the Richie, congratulations to Jim Colony on his first career hole-in-one yesterday at Treesdale. What an accomplishment for an old fart like Jim. <laughs> I heard about that. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you for sticking around. Hopefully you make the switch over to KDK News right now.